U.S. Navy signs $14.9 billion contract for two 100,000-ton Gerald Ford-class supercarriers. In an attempt to modernize its fast-aging aircraft carrier fleet, the United States Navy has signed a $14.9 billion contract with American shipbuilder Huntington Ingalls for two Gerald Ford-class supercarriers. The Gerald Ford-class has long been criticized for its immense cost, coming at well over double the cost of its predecessor the Nimitz class which had the same displacement and deployed the same number of aircraft. By purchasing the two warships simultaneously however, the Navy can expect to reduce the overall cost of the acquisition by $4 billion. The U.S. Navy is currently the only service in the world to field supercarriers, and the Gerald Ford class ships are by far the most modern carrier types in the world with state-of-the-art sensors, propulsion systems, and perhaps most notably an electromagnetic catapult system which allows them to launch heavier and better armed vessels than any other carrier warship. The first Gerald Ford class ship, USS Gerald Ford, entered service with the US Navy in 2017, bringing the size of the supercarrier fleet to 11 ships alongside 10 older Nimitz-class vessels. The Ford-class ships are expected to deploy a number of state-of-the-art new aircraft, including the latest variants F-O the E-2 Hawkeye and C-2 carrier onboard delivery aircraft alongside F-35C light stealth fighters. While the Navy currently lacks a dedicated air superiority fighter due to the retirement of the F-14 Tomcat in 2006 and cancellation of plans for a carrier-based F-22 Raptor, a sixth-generation carrier-based air superiority platform designed to surpass the Raptor, the air dominance fighter, is currently under development and can be expected to deploy from the Gerald Ford class as a heavier complement to the F-35C by the early 2030s. The Gerald Ford class is currently the only supercarrier class in the world to deploy an electromagnetic catapult system, though this could soon change with China's Type 003 class ships having tested similar systems. China's Navy for its part has already tested electromagnetic catapult systems successfully, and unlike the US Navy has a high-end carrier-based air superiority fighter ready for frontline service. The development of the Type 003 will likely force the U.S. to rush its own new air superiority fighters into service, and will require more Gerald Ford class ships to be deployed to the Pacific with the Nimitz class vessels set to be increasingly outmatched by their Chinese counterparts. India and Russia have also expressed interest in acquiring Emil's equipped carriers under the Insvishal and Sturm carrier programs respectively though neither is likely to have the funds and capability necessary to develop such ships for the foreseeable future. The U.S. Army has put in an order for Black Hornet personal reconnaissance drones drone planes small enough to fit in a soldier's pocket. These tiny drones, which are able to covertly and continuously cover the battlefield at ranges up to 1.24 miles for nearly a half hour, can send back real-time video and high-definition photos to the operator. Pocket-sized drones are on their way to U.S. Army soldiers, offering a better view of the battlefield and giving them a lethal edge over enemies. The Army has awarded FLIR Systems a $39.6 million contract to provide Black Hornet personal reconnaissance drones next level technology that could be a total game changer for U.S. troops in the field the company said in a recent press release. Measuring just 6.6 .6 inches in length and weighing only 1.16 ounces, these nano-unmanned aerial vehicle UAV, systems are small enough for a dismounted soldier to carry on a utility belt according to FLIR Systems. These drones can provide situational awareness beyond visual line-of-sight capability day or night at a distance of up to 1.24 miles, covering ground at a max speed of 20 feet per second. The nearly silent combat systems can provide constant covered coverage of the battlefield for almost a half hour, transmitting both live video and high-definition photographs back to the operator. FLIR said the drone's ability to covertly detect and identify threats will save the lives of troops in combat. The Army is looking at a number of technologies that will allow soldiers to spot and even fire on enemies without putting themselves in harm's way, such as night vision goggles connected to an integrated weapons site that allows troops to shoot from the hip and around corners with accuracy.